last time on the Isle of Rangoon. And now, pretty much more of the same, really. If you've ever handled mica, you're acquainted with cleavage. M -m -m mica cleavage. The mica crystals you find in nature come apart easily in one direction. Or when it's heard that other, one direction broke so up. That you can split them into extremely thin, tough sheets. The mica acts as if it was made like a book. With like a the book Atlas shrugged, only dullards want to crack if it open. If you actually try it, you'll get the feeling that there's no limit to the thinness of those leaves of paper. You'll feel that if you were skillful enough, you, you could wield a katana and really teach that jerk Tony Persetti a lesson! Those in two yeah. again, and so on. It makes you guess that the atoms in the mica are arranged in great sheets. Thus proving the God's a house key. together very tightly in the sheets, and the bonding forces between the sheets are very small. This Just is the also the reason for this guy's bachelor like that is a kind of orderliness. There aren't many crystals that cleave as well as mica. Alum, for example, doesn't cleave at all. Despite all the cool the crystals pressuring it to. Cleave amazingly well. Let me show you the cleavage in this crystal. Oh, do not stand up and it's talk about cleavage! No, 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 no. It cleaves parallel to this face. I'll put the thing down on a little plasticine to hold it in place. Oops, that's plastique. That's for later. Big plans. <laughs> I'll take a single-edged razor blade and direct the blade parallel to the face and give the back of the blade a smart tap. She comes apart. That you suddenly gendered this rock is deeply that. unsettling. As flat as you please. You may say, oh, you picked a special place in the crystal. How it's dare you, asshole! I can cleave it again, parallel to that same face, and get a thin plate out of the thing. Cleaving rocks! Cleaving rocks! Cleaving rocks! Cleaving rocks! Cleaving rocks! So it isn't a special place in the crystal, it's a special direction in the crystal. Now maybe you will say, oh that isn't any special direction. You've got a sharp razor blade and you're- Yeah, I'll kill your family with it! Ah! All right, if that's what you think. Who but hurt you, crystal guy? In a different direction. I turn my razor blade in a different direction, and I whack it, <laughs> and nothing much happens, until I whack it a lot harder. <laughs> and finally, of course, the thing busts. And there's no nice flat face. It's just broken apart like anything else. You get the feeling he spends a lot of time whacking and mourning shattered remains. <laughs> That's mean. And yes. <sighs> now let me show you the cleavage in another crystal. A and crystal don't try running. The doors are locked from the outside. It cleaves in three directions, not just one. It's a good thing I got a Y-shaped razor. Meh. I can cleave it here, like this. <sighs> and I can cleave it here, like this. You can cleave like this, or you can cleave like that. You can cleave like this, or you can cleave like that. I would pay any amount of money for Christopher Walken to fly and in here, right now. Like this. That's always true. By the way, you can grow both these crystals, nickel sulfate and sodium nitrate, by recipes given in the film notes in case you want to play around with the stuff yourself. Ooh, sounds great, sodium but I got this apple half I was going to watch turn brown. I was finally going to watch to boldly flee, but I like your plan better, Jim. When big crystals of calcite were first discovered... People thought they were the devil! Ago, ...in a quarry in Iceland, the scientists of that day got hold of some, and their studies of the stuff... Ah, yes, the, the peer-reviewed Journal of Stuff. Of they did a fascinating study As about I say, sodium nitrate Ooh. and calcite have many properties in common. In particular, they both cleave the same way. When those earlier scientists saw the way calcite cleaves, they had the idea that maybe calcite was made of tiny building blocks. The Sligo was light, born! And all having the shape of little cleavage blocks of calcite. You may be inclined to laugh at this. 
What? Say the calcite, like all matter, must be made of atoms. And atoms don't look like building blocks. What the hell are you okay, accusing us of? Me. What do the atoms look like? Little hard round iron pellets? Uh, I... Don't let me fool you with those pennies and bearing balls I've been showing you. Who hurt they you, just where the atoms are, not what the atoms look like. For all I know, the atoms look like four-leaf clovers. Was that a joke? Fifteen minutes in a single solitary sort of joke? Hey, Ninja Sex Party's gone years with only one sort of joke. That's true. First they were saying, crystals have an ultimate fine structure. Baby, are you a calcite deposit from Iceland? Because your structure is ultimate fine. But the difference is really more a matter of words than of anything else. Second, they were saying... That structure has a regular array. I'm pretty sure this dude's tie is caught in a zipper this whole order. time. Nah, he just gets his suits from Montgomery Burns. Arrangement as the crystal grows. It turns out that you can think of any crystal. Not only crystals which show cleavage, but any you do not want to know what his right hand is up to. Blocks About 100 BPM. In regular array, without overlapping, on top of one another and side by side, if you choose the right shape of block. Oh. In the case of Alan, the right shape of block is a cube. This is a scale model of two I expect to be interred in following my glorious reign. All stacked up on top of one another without overlapping this way. Notice this is what Paula Dean puts in her morning coffee. Yeah, that and a stick of butter. Of the alum crystal. By stepping back the cubes as I piled them up. Oh, At first you might right. think that would mean that the face would be pretty rough. But you got to remember this that these the little failed cubes prototype for Adam are really Conover. only a few atoms wide. Their sides are only about one ten millionth of a centimeter long. But most guys will still call it eight inches. inches. Or even see it under the microscope. One of the things that gave early support to the building block idea was the fact that all crystals of the same stuff have the same angles between corresponding faces. Who was this film made for? The might be very different in size. They might have grown at different rates. They might have traveled faces, to the beat so of a different drone. Different overall shapes, like these two alum crystals. Nevertheless, the angles between corresponding faces of all crystals are the same. So this long guy's as the got the supple, the sonorous material, tones of a YouTube conspiracy it theorist. very strongly that each material forms its own building block, which gets repeated again and again as the crystal grows. Oops. Now, turn back for a moment to the microscope and remind yourself of what is happening while a crystal grows. Other people are going on dates or having fun, forming bonds with other human beings. Surfaces, Who needs that garbage? Right. Those surfaces in an orderly way, and they're doing this at an amazing rate of speed. The crystals you're looking at are growing fairly fast. Suppose a crystal grew at the rate of only a couple of millimeters a day. It'd still be coming along slow. faster than Half-Life 3. Jim, you set off the hat beam alarm! Oh, alarm. Jim, let's let me find it. Smoke alarm, radon alarm, snake alarm, line of snakes all clear claxing, some alarm alarm. Ah, here it is! Out of reach! Smack it with a broom! Lesson learned. Sir Lawrence. Blow soap bubbles. <laughs> Excuse me? He blows them in a pan of soapy water. I'm sure Tiny Soapy the Germ Fighter appreciates which that. Which rise to the surface and collect in rafts. The bubbles behave a little like atoms because when they're floating on the water, they or in the wine. one another a little. And when they touch, they stick to one another quite strongly. Like this guy's do. sheets. But again, like the atoms. They have a squashy sort of size. It's also so how Todd in the Shadows space. describes his dog. Watch how the bubbles collect together into an orderly arrangement. So Republicans it's the same then. as the arrangement of pennies I showed you, the so-called close-packed arrangement. So-called? The rafts are made of large parts. All of the parts have the same sort of order, but the orderliness of the parts is turned in different directions. It's enough so to make you weep like a little girl. Between the parts. This is like a solid made of lots of crystals which started growing in different places and finally joined. Like last week's like Chinese and last month's pizza. Solidified, or that brass door handle. When you think of how fast the atoms have to get into order, much faster than this. Well, women take forever in the bathroom, am I right, guys? But this will give you some little idea 
of what a hustle and bustle must really have to go on on an atomic scale. I muscle. I muscle. I muscle increase my muscle. Sometimes when the molecules are very big and have an irregular shape, Tony Persetti uses that to make fun of them in the locker room. arranged into order. Yeah. Then they congeal into a glass. A glass is very much like a liquid, but it's like a liquid in which the molecules are no longer able to move past each other. So not like a liquid. It has patches of order in the midst of disorder. The disorder is frozen in place, so to speak, and can't get itself rearranged into order. Like Liquids the Democrats. And glasses are pretty disorderly arrangements of molecules. And gases are the most disorderly arrangements of all. But they're the smartphones and finish spinners and brick! The arrangement of atoms grouped in each molecule of the gas. Later in this course, you'll learn more about gases. Professor but Heindorfer already, teaches that section, he can blast a hole in a metal folding chair! In a great many ways. Whereas there are so many different kinds of solids. The only way gases can differ is in the kinds of molecules they are made of. And whether they prefer the Joel or Mike. Differ also Poor Jonah. In the kind of orderliness which those molecules take up in the crystals which comprise the solid. Looks like it was carved out of dried up bar of lava soap. This selectiveness actually happening in some of the materials you've already looked at. I'll melt some salol on the hot plate over here. Ooh, bad case of puppeteer spine. There. And bring it over to the microscope <sighs> and let it cool down so that it wants to crystallize. Now I deny then its wants. See how that feels? The salol with a tiny crystal of alum. Alum! 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 Nothing happens. No salol will crystallize on it. It's a representation of him at any given social function. Now, I'll seed the melt. Never say that again. With a few little crystals of Salon. Body by Skeksis. And you can see the Salon crystals grow, leaving the alum crystal unaffected. What the hell the is Salon anyway? It's not the right kind of orderliness for Salon, and the Salon simply waits until the right kind of orderliness is presented to it. <laughs> Bastard! And I think now you can see what I promised you would see about granite. What? Why it Just is nod and play along. We're almost free. Quartz, feldspar, and mica form three separate kinds of crystals in the granite and don't form just a single crystal in which the molecules of quartz, feldspar, and mica all take part together. This it's guy's TED Talk? Standing room only. Normally form crystals with three different kinds of order. It's a real the pain in the ass at the drive-thru. They can't find a kind of order which is common to all three of them. So they crystallize out separately, each in its preferred way. Like me every night. You know, after 20 years of growing crystals... I have yet to experience an atom of joy. Yeah. You go to the microscope to watch it. Pretending you're an almighty god looming over helpless thralls. And you know that the atoms are at work, busily, almost unerringly, Constructing something. The lurking something rhomboid regular, menace. Something orderly. Constructing something which, from an atom's point of view, is simply enormous. The mighty Rombzilla! And they leave the short to quietly die, lingering silently like a beer fart in a 30-floor elevator ride. Brah! <laughs> Doggies, that was certainly some kind of educational. For example, I learned that fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and hate leads to educational shorts. I learned that you can use charisma as your dump stat and still be a presenter for short films. Also that crystal cleavage is a scientific term and not the name of the princess from Crystar. And here I thought that was B. Orchid's finishing move. So, has all this education appeased our invisible robot masters? You've got mail. Oh, thank goodness. You've got mail. But now this very video has a monetization claim. Over the music in the short. Oh, YouTube.
Everybody wants prosthetic foreheads on their real heads. Everybody wants prosthetic foreheads on their real heads. Throw them to door wide. Let the people crawl inside. Someone in this town is trying to burn the playhouse down. They want to stop, they want to want prosthetic foreheads on their heads. But everybody wants prosthetic foreheads on their real head. Hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, why not give us a like or a subscribe or leave a comment down there somewhere? You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision.